Hi, you're probably among the many people that at the thought of trying to explain exactly what your new business contains or provides, you freeze a little bit. You're comfortable in the role of being perhaps a teacher or a school administrator, but in this new world of being an entrepreneur, it may cause you a little bit of panic when people ask you, so what exactly do you do? And you've often heard that phrase, you need to have an elevator pitch, typically something that's easily remembered and can be easily digested within 30 or so seconds. But what you may not realize is that the purpose of that elevator pitch is simply to get the other person to be curious, to ask for more information. It's not to try to cram every last detail about your business, your background, your likes, your interests into this one quickie diatribe. Rather, it's simply to state something in a way that causes the other person to say, tell me more. So I'm going to give you a five-step process now that hopefully will help you overcome any fears or anxiety you have about how to explain the purpose of your business and what it is that you provide. So the first thing, who is the target audience that you're going to focus on providing your product or service? In my business, the people are teachers, but even within teachers, it's specifically teachers who, who are looking to make a transition into business ownership. So while I'm more than happy to talk to any and all teachers, the real focus are those who are at their wits end or, or are about to retire and are seeking to start their own business. So be clear on who it is you are targeting with your business. If you're trying to target everyone, in essence, you're targeting no one. The second step, what are the problems, the concerns, the issues that your target audience are going to be confronting? These are the things that you're going to help them meet or overcome. You need to have the target audience that has a need for what it is that you're going to provide. In my business, it's teachers who want to go beyond the classroom and start their own business because they're tired of administrators not understanding how hard they're working and are feeling disrespected. It's about parents and school boards and legislators not appreciating the value that the teacher in the classroom provides. And so that teacher is looking to move forward. The third step, it, identifying exactly how you help. Again, to make it significantly personal, I help teachers looking to leave the classroom and start their own business through mentorship, online training, coaching, group peer-to-peer -peer facilitations. These are the things that I offer and I provide that help that teacher looking to leave the classroom and start their own business. The fourth part of our process here, what is it that ultimately the target audience is able to achieve? What is the outcome? In my instance, it's successfully launching their business and having the wherewithal to sustain and maintain it long term. Notice I'm not saying anything about the tools, the resources that they're going to use to make that happen. That would be a follow-up. And then lastly, you would offer some role play case study testimonial of, of who you have helped before. If this is a new launch, you would say, here's how I can help. This is what you can reasonably expect. So those are the five steps. 
Let's put it all together, though. I might say to you, if we were to meet at a social function, do you know any teachers at their wits end who are either considering retiring or just simply quitting because they have had enough of the pressures and being unrewarded and unrecognized? Through my mentorship, guidance, coaching, and training, I am able to create successful business launches with those people. In fact, I recently worked with one teacher who was able to leave the classroom behind and is now a public speaker and author who's able to make presentations to different governmental agencies explaining how to improve school curricula. Do you know any teachers who are interested in leaving the classroom and starting their own business? You can see, it took me very little time to explain what the business is, who my target is, and what you can reasonably expect as a result of working with me. However, I'd like to be able to customize your own elevator pitch. So you'll see the scroll going across the bottom of the screen now. Please schedule a call and we can craft and work on your specific five-part elevator pitch. I look forward to having the opportunity to help you along the way and can't wait to get started. Hope to talk to you soon.